Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we will be recapping our reviews from the month of October 2024. This video will feature three things, a discussion of our favorite coffee this month, as well as any honorable mentions, our upcoming coffee of the month, and anything else pertaining to this channel that we feel is worth discussing or addressing. So let's go ahead and get started with our honorable mentions. And as always, these are in order of when we reviewed them on this channel. And first up, we have the Benchmaji Lucy Station, the wash processed Ethiopia from Wesson Gopi, based out of Shah Alam, Malaysia. And as of this moment, this coffee would end up in our top 10 coffees of 2024 list, as this is easily one of my top 10 favorite coffees that we've reviewed on this channel this year. And the main reason for that is because this coffee offered plenty of intensity without sacrificing any of the clarity, as this was one of the cleanest coffees that we've reviewed on this channel this year. And I was very happy to hear that a lot of you guys had some positive experiences with this one, as there was a lot of positive feedback on our review of this coffee with so many of you enjoying this one due to its wonderful clarity. So for anybody that is interested in this coffee, it is still currently available at the time of recording. Next up, we have the Halo Hartume for Hanu Dido, the natural processed Ethiopia from Wesson Gopi, once again, based out of Shah Alam, Malaysia. And as of this moment, this coffee would also end up on our top 10 coffees of 2024 list, as it's actually one of my five favorite coffees that we've reviewed on this channel this year, and my favorite natural processed coffee that we've reviewed up to this point, as this one offered tremendous clarity while at the same time offering a very intense blueberry forward aspect that a lot of us associate with natural processed Ethiopian coffees, and so many of you enjoyed this coffee as well, most specifically because of that reason, as so many of you got such a wonderful blueberry-like aspect that that was very prominent within this coffee right from the onset. This one unfortunately is no longer available, however I would definitely suggest some of uh, Wes and Gopi's other natural processed Ethiopian coffees as I do feel like they do a very good job with their more processed coffees. All right, and that takes us into my favorite coffee this month. And what coffee could be the coffee that would end up in our top 10 and a coffee that would end up in our top five? How about a coffee that would end up in our top three as of this moment, as this one is the Iridescence, the carbonic macerated wash processed Panama from h &S Coffee Roasters out of Laramie, Wyoming. And this coffee is one of the most impressive coffees that we've reviewed this year without a doubt, as this one had such a clean profile and such a unique profile as I described the sweetness as being reminiscent of Haichu with such a wonderful floral aspect to it. It really hit on all the marks that I was looking for within a coffee in terms of clarity, sweetness, florality, and a fruit forward profile. As h &S does continue to hit it out of the park with a lot of the coffees that they have released this year, most specifically some of their higher end coffees as one of the other coffees that would currently be in my top three favorite coffees this year is the La Papaya Gesha, also from h &S Coffee Roasters. All of this to say that I'm very impressed with the work that they have done this year and this one is no exception as this coffee right now is one of my favorite coffees that we have reviewed on this channel this year and my favorite coffee that we have reviewed this month. This one unfortunately is no longer available for purchase and I wish it was because I probably would buy an entire bag and just put it in the freezer for the time being. All right, and that takes us into our coffee of the month, and that is the Cabela by Ture Waji, the natural processed Ethiopia from Elsa Coffee, based out of North Canaan, Connecticut. And the theme of this month's coffee of the month was picking coffees that had some sort of candy-related theme to them. And this one right here, as you can see, has a grape candy note listed on it, and it will be a very interesting review for one reason, and that is because I haven't necessarily had the best experiences with Elsa since we first started reviewing them. Now, famously, we did place them pretty high in our initial coffee roaster tier list and that was when I didn't have too much experience with them but the more and more I've tried them the less I've necessarily enjoyed their coffees so it is interesting to kind of return to them as they are a pretty popular coffee roaster and it's also going to be the first time since they changed the design of their bags or I guess in this case boxes as this is the first time we're reviewing them with those new boxes and I do have to say that I was not necessarily a fan when I first saw it released mostly because I actually really liked Ilsa's bags the way that they were they were actually some of my favorite bags from an American-based coffee roaster, and they're a little nostalgic, even if I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of the coffee that it did offer. But a lot of people felt the same way as they haven't necessarily been the biggest fan of the boxes 
That being said, it is kind of interesting just how many very candy forward coffees were released after we did our stream and our coffee of the month poll. As I know that Manhattan had some, Blind Tiger had one with a candy corn note, and we even had some coffee roasters like Enjoy that offered some coffees that had candy related notes that were a little bit more specific to Halloween themes. So just a little unfortunate, jumped the gun a little bit on that, but it happens and it'll definitely be interesting to see our feedback on this coffee. And the last thing I wanted to discuss this month is advent calendars, as I did receive a number of questions from you guys asking what advent calendar we were going to be doing this year, as well as what other advent calendars are out there and available to be purchased. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and include a link to Sprudge's website that does include a list of advent calendars that are available this year to be purchased. But the advent calendar we're going with this year, unsurprisingly, is Cafe Box's advent calendar, as it has become a little bit of a tradition for us to try out that advent calendar year after year. And this year we're going to be doing another blind taste test ranking series as it is i would say both more popular and a little bit easier for us to do that sort of series as opposed to reviewing each coffee individually day by day but as far as other advent calendars go the second choice would actually be revolvers advent calendar as i've always been interested and curious about theirs given that they do have 24 different coffee roasters and a number of coffee roasters i either want to try or review so that would be a second choice and one that maybe we might revisit in the future that being said i feel like it's going be very difficult for us to go away from trying out cafe boxes advent calendar mostly because the coffee roasters that they do feature in that advent calendar typically do tend to be some of our favorite nordic based coffee roasters that being said this year's cafe box advent calendar does not include some of our favorites including cofea circular so it's actually a little bit more open this year for one of the other coffee roasters to win that blind taste test series while we're still discussing advent calendars, I wanted to mention some other ones. And for people that are interested in maybe a singular coffee roaster, there are a number of, I would say, more notable coffee roasters out there that also have advent calendars. And in years past, even before we ever started this channel, I actually did Onyx's advent calendar once upon a time, back when I enjoyed Onyx a little bit more than I do now. And that's one that is always kind of interesting. They have revealed the coffees that will be featured in their advent calendar for anybody that is curious. Some other coffee roasters include 19 grams which is a coffee roaster I don't have too much familiarity with in addition to that there is La Cabra, which is a coffee roaster once again not necessarily the biggest fan of and then coffee collective also does have their own advent calendar so there are definitely some options out there and once again the link will be included down below to kind of show you some other alternatives that you might have but again we're going to be sticking to that cafe box advent calendar for the time being that's about it so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video at that if you guys are enjoying the content give this video a like subscribe if you're not already subscribed this right here has been a recap of our reviews for the month of October 2024. Thank you for watching.